Ik nog op de... <laughs> oh, oh, what do you know? <laughs> what are we doing today? Well, guess what day today? Today... Well, guess what day it is today? There we go. What day is it? Today? Specifically speaking, hey around yo. 1 p.m. ish. I thought that was such a good intro. I thought I was being really funny showing you all this candy. candy. Wow. Because, I mean, that's what kids think of. The other day, I asked a big group of people, I said, It's Halloween. What does that mean to you? And literally everybody said, Candy. candy. Um, so. Halloween candy. Oh, dang, what are we going to be talking about today? Um, specifically, I know, Joe, yummy. <laughs> we shouldn't have this in the office. It is yummy. Um, we are going to be talking about, I wonder if we, maybe we can go sit in on the couch yeah. or something. Um, but we are going to be talking about today, Halloween candy and all those parents that completely avoid candy or they hate Halloween because their kids can't have a good time at it. Um, the parents that have to avoid all the Halloween parties or have to send mm -hmm. very specific notes with their kids to school because there's so many treats and um, parties and things that go on. And um, why, why do they avoid Halloween parties? What's the big deal with all that? What's well, the special ingredient in all candy? It's sugar! There's so much sugar in candy, obviously, and it's overwhelming, but there's on, on, on top of it, there's a lot of other things in candy that we look at. And not only sugar, but I know we're getting our candies pieces ready, right? Twix? What is it? Snickers? I'm having trouble holding this. Here, I can hold it. Um, but we look at other things, and, and then you'll see with kids that are struggling, there's a lot of things that we see in the office that are struggling, like with ADHD, um, any kind of allergies, sometimes allergies play a huge role while you're eating one. We're going to have a sugar high. <laughs> but what comes with eating candy with these little kids when they, when they go on Halloween? What happens? Well, what happens is, excuse me, as I'm talking to you with my <laughs> mouth full, as I just popped a Snickers into it, when we're talking about candy, it's really hard to resist. Mm -hmm. um, sugar is really hard to resist. Part as you can see, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect prototype. Perfect example. Perfect prototype right here. But sugar is really hard to resist because what people don't realize is it's actually addictive. It's really addictive. And so certain kids <laughs> well, she's in, have not more, a good idea. more of an addictive, um, they get really, really hyped up on it. You'll see kids that really need it, right? To have the energy in the day. And they have sometimes at the end of the day, they get these crazy sugar crashes. You'll see, especially after Halloween, we all know this. These kids eat like 60 pieces of candy. I was that kid. So I don't know if that's normal. Wait till your tummy hurt? Yeah, until no, I went past that. <laughs> I always went past the tummy hurting. But I'd eat so much that it gets so, so hyper and so crazy. And then I'd have this horrible crash. But then I want to wake up in the morning and have more candy. And then I became, oh my gosh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just wanted sugar. Everything. Toast with sugar. Remember that. With sprinkles on top. These are not good snacks. Well, yeah. Well, what's really interesting, lifelong addition to hot tamales. Yeah, we all have our favorites. Um, what's really interesting is, um, like Dr. Alexa was saying, um, you can eat so much of it and you crave it and you want it and it can make you feel really, really bad mm -hmm. and you still want more of it the next day. Um, and sugar comes in lots of processed foods, not just candy, but because it's Halloween and candy is literally all around. I just was, I got this bag of candy at the grocery store and they have an entire aisle right now, well at least half an aisle, dedicated just, just to, to Halloween candy. And what makes it so addictive is people don't realize, how do you make alcohol? You really just need sugar, yeast, yeast. and fermentation. Mm -hmm. And so whenever we are eating candy and we have uh, our microbiome, we have yeast already in our bodies because our bodies need those enzymes in order to metabolize and digest and process our food. Whenever we eat sugar, lots of sugar, mm -hmm. and we get a disruption in this microbiome, we literally, our bodies are literally making alcohol, which creates this loop that goes to the brain and the brain craves more of that. Um, why do people use alcohol during the day? You know, externally, a lot of times, you feel like you need a drink at the end of the day um, if you're really stressed out. In times of stress, people crave um, going to have a beer or, or winding down with a glass, a favorite glass of 
whatever it is you like to drink or you know you go to Taco Bell or you go get a donut or something mm -hmm. like that we have these addictions um, to sugar in different ways and in times of stress they get more pronounced yes and so this gets really really tough during Halloween um, especially for parents whose kids um, I was saying earlier as I was eating the Snickers <laughs> um, but parents certain kids have predispositions to being triggered by things like sugar or art artificial dyes mm -hmm. um, and the things that go into that because of they might just be based on their genes based on environmental factors they might be a little bit more prone to that sugar triggering them in different ways mm -hmm. which is why we see an increase in meltdowns kids having meltdowns when they have sugar an increase in tantrums um, or aggression or quote unquote bad behavior Okay, and you'll see a lot like it's such a short-term effect. That's why people like it so much And I think that's what I did as a kid is that it kind of made you happy in a short amount of time And you like that you get like a little happy well, feeling. It's a, it's a burst mm. like I said, so it goes you're creating, you know, this you're feeding mm -hmm. this alcohol this um, Physiological thing that's happening into your body and so it's a it's really satisfying for your brain those neurotransmitters that get released they really do and so your body creates this habit loop and it one continues to want it over and over and over mm -hmm. again even though it's actually creating much more harm in the long run um, than it is gratification in the short run um, and, but this, and then this is where we get into trouble uh, because not only does it affect when we have such an imbalance do you, do you want to switch yeah let's switch <laughs> my arms <laughs> When we have such an imbalance, um, it's hard because I want to hold it with my left what? hand. When we have such an imbalance, um, here we can put the maybe pump we should go underneath. get that. Yeah. Here. When we have such an imbalance um, in the nervous system because we've been eating so much sugar, um, it can start to affect things like the immune system. Hi, Casey. Uh, start to affect things affect things like the immune system um, so oftentimes Halloween is really interesting because it runs right around um, the holiday season when things like colds start popping up or the flu starts going yeah. around um, we start getting you know sinuses start bothering us we start getting achy pains and the coughing um, that's yeah huge coughs get kids. bad and so we we ha kind of have all of this stuff going on all at once where we have this huge sugar load where we're all diving into sugar, especially children who maybe shouldn't be doing that. Their parents try to keep them from mm -hmm. doing that because they know how much it, sugar affects their kids in the, in the short term. And then we go right into winter time when our bodies, when our immune systems need to be in tip top shape. And so we kind of get this perfect storm going where we have, we have an imbalance in our nervous systems and which affects our immune system and then our immune systems aren't working as well as they need to and then we get sick. It's a little train reaction. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what we wanted to talk about today is the work that we do helps boost the immune system because what we're looking for is imbalances in the nervous system. And then like we just said, if the nervous system is imbalanced, the immune system is going to be affected. Yeah. So what we would love for you to listen for, especially this month, are for parents who are desperately desperately trying to keep their kids from all the candy. Yeah. There's usually a big reason behind that and it's usually because they know their kids, if they have too much sugar or any amounts of sugar, they're in trouble. <laughs> the kid might be in trouble, but the family's in trouble <laughs> because we're not sleeping any, we're not sleeping anymore. Tantrums. Tantrums happen. We start getting calls from the school. Um, we have to go to the support room at school. We can't sit in the classroom anymore. Mm -hmm. um, Things like bedwetting can increase habits and triggers and things that kids used to do end up coming back around this time because their systems are so stressed out. Mm -hmm. So I would love, we would love for you to start listening for those things as you're going around to all the holiday parties or um, the Halloween parties and really looking for it because you'll you'll find them you'll you'll see the stressed out parent who mm -hmm. you know asks if she can bring gluten free or if everybody can bring gluten free or cupcakes fruit, something or yeah fruit something other than candy because this is the parent that's really concerned I'm uh, dealing with yeah that's really concerned about their child taking in all of this candy because they know that it completely stresses out their child's body um, and that is somebody we can help and we would love for you to l look out for that and um, hopefully provide us with the opportunity to have a conversation with them about it. And don't worry, all this candy will be thrown in the trash, right, Dr. Alex? Right. <laughs>
It won't be on display in here. Don't I can worry. guarantee I'll you keep that. It the only candy we, we do have lollipops in the office. However, if you are looking for something more to give, uh, something you would like to give your kid, if you want them to participate and have some sort of candy, um, what we have in the office are, are called Yum Earth is the mm -hmm. brand and you can get them on we buy them off Amazon in big bags um, but they're lollipops and they I believe they have gummy bears and um, uh, sorts of different other snacks you can get but we we have the lollipops in the office and they are organic there's no dyes no artificial dyes mm -hmm. whatsoever no artificial corn syrup a lot of fruit um, flavors yeah very That's natural true. Um, so it's still sugar, but as far as candy goes, it's better option. It's the best option you could probably mm -hmm. do for for yourself if that's something you're you're looking for. So even our most um, neurodevelopmentally challenged patients can eat a Yum mm -hmm. Earth lollipop, and they do pretty well. So um, if you're looking to get a more organic, holistic candy for Halloween, Yum Earth is your brand. Thank you. <laughs> and if you are out and about and you're your friends or you hear parents at your kid's school super stressing mm -hmm. out about if their kids get candy, they're wanting to bring fruit instead of candy or gluten-free cupcakes or or paleo cupcakes, or they're mm -hmm. just super concerned about what their kids are putting in their body, there's usually because there's an underlying nervous system dysfunction there because of it. And like I said, we are experts at identifying that and balancing out the nervous system so that these kids aren't so stressed out when it comes to putting things in their mm -hmm. body and then boosting their immune systems for the winter. Um, so with that being said, make sure you join us next time. you have anything to add? No, I think that was perfect. So. Awesome. Except no, really quickly, don't <laughs> no, uh, really quickly. Don't you guys ever remember those the dentists? You always go to the dentist's house and they give a toothbrush and toothpaste. And you're like, oh, oh. But now I love those people. Yeah. Now, <laughs> those now people we're fans. rock. <laughs> they thank your um, toothbrush giving or apple um, giving, pencil giving. I love those people. You rock. Yeah. <laughs> houses at Halloween time because they those are the people of the future. If <laughs> they get it. Those are the people of the future. Mm -hmm. Well, join us next Thursday around one ish. Yeah. You know us. Look at us. We're here. We're here all we'll the time. <laughs> um, on the next episode of Specifically, Specifically Speaking. Speaking. Bye. See ya.